Hi, so I'm Vanessa Lau, and I'm one of the social reporters for the Global Landscapes Forum here in uh, New York City today. And I'm here with uh, Kavita. Kavita Prakash. Prakash so Mani. sorry. Yes, no um, worries. One of the directors from the Wild World Wildlife Foundation, right? So she just gave a talk and led a panel of quite a few uh, amazing individuals uh, representing so many different people. Here you are representing scientists, we had someone representing indigenous people, youth, and even the financial sector, and you asked them questions regarding what they think they're, you know, what they, who they represent can do for yep. uh, the climate change movement. So I'm here asking you, what do you think that everyday people can do to help contribute to the movement? Thank you. Um, it's a really big topic. We are here at the UN headquarters really talking about what we can do to save nature and address climate change. And as we were saying, nature and climate change are two sides of the same coin. If we want to really look at you know, keeping the world in a temperature that we can all survive in below two degrees, or at least you know, more than that, 1.5 degrees, we need to look at how natural solutions play a part of that. So how do we protect our forests, our grasslands, our wetlands? You know, so that our species don't disappear and we have the food to eat or not. And all of us can make a difference to your question about it's not just getting the governments to have the right policies or the bankers to have the right investment or the companies to have the right products. We as consumers, we as citizens, we as voters can make a difference. So asking your governments to really, uh, you know, we are calling for a new deal for nature and people that protects our places, that protects our species, that looks at reducing our footprint you can get behind that and ask your governments to set behind that. We can look at uh, the companies that we buy our food from, that we buy our clothes from, that you know, have the cars, to improve how they, uh, how they produce that food, how we get it to the market. And as consumers, we can make a choice of what we consume. Are you buying something that came from the rainforest, that degraded the rainforest? Are you buying something that is, uh, you know, devastating the habitat of orangutans, whether it's palm oil or it's soy or it's beef, what choices we make on food. All of these choices on a day-to-day -day level are very, very important and every action counts. Yeah, absolutely. Voting with your dollar, right? Um, yes. So in your speech, you mentioned that the WWF has three main goals to accomplish by the year 2030. So one of them being um, uh, bringing us to zero uh, habitat loss, bringing us to zero species loss and extinction. And the third one is greatly reducing um, our carbon footprint and global impact. So yep. what is the WWF doing to promote these ideas and to accomplish them? Great, and thank you for remembering them. This yeah. is exactly <laughs> what, what we want. So like you said, what we want is to protect our habitats. We have about half our natural habitats left and we need to protect them across all different varieties of them from the Arctic to the rainforest to the grasslands. Uh, we're losing about, you know, 60% of our species have died over the last 50 years. One million more are at risk. So, you know, from the big elephants and the big rhinos to like insects and little, you know, creatures that live in the soil, they're all important for how biodiversity works. Um, and like we said, the main drivers of this loss are coming from the, from our consumption and how things are produced for us as human beings to live and especially around food and energy and extractives, metals that go into your phones that you know, we, we look at. So we are calling for a new deal for nature and people. We are really trying to mobilize governments, civil society, companies, the public, the youth on the street, the climate marchers, to say that we need to come together and commit to restoring and protecting nature. And that next year, which is the super 2020 year, when we will have new deals for the uh, you know, Convention of Biological Diversity or the Sustainable Development Goals to really come together and saying we will collectively ask for this new deal for nature and people and get to the three goals that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And after seeing this past week, um, so many people coming here up, like under this pretense of moving towards uh, climate, uh, climate um, activism and everything, do you believe that we are on track to you know, accomplish yep. this goal? So I started the week with going for the climate march uh, that was here in New York, and that was fantastic. You know, all of us sit in our offices in our rooms or in you know buildings like the UN and and are fighting for this agenda. But being on the street with the people, with the youth, the energy that we got from that, I think that will sustain us. And and you can see the mobilization. Suddenly, nature is on the agenda. Whether it's nature-based solutions for climate or it's nature for the sake of restoration for our things. It's very, very energizing, and I think we're at that tipping point right now. We have 10 years to get it right. We have 10 years to deliver this new deal, because after that, we will start looking at that place where 
things will be irreversible. Our climate will be at a point where we can't pull it back. We would have lost so much nature that it will take too long to restore it. So the time is now and we all need to act. Yeah. So thank you so much, Kavita, for your wonderful speech, uh, your amazing uh, job moderating and for speaking with us here today. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's a pleasure.